Hi, welcome to my YouTube. Today I'm going to show you how to completely disassemble your BRS-99. This gun is made in Poland. It's 9mm. And this is the closest you're going to get to an Uzi in Canada. When I bought this gun several years ago, it came with a manual, cleaning kit, a magazine pouch, three 25 round mags, one 15 round mag, oil container, a holster, and a sling. Okay, I'm going to fuel strip this first, then I'll disassemble from the outside counterclockwise, and then I'm going to work my way inside. I already checked to see there's no rounds in there. Remove the magazine. Top cover. Be cool spring. <clears throat> the bolt. Now there's four grip. Also doubles uh, as a flashlight holder. All you do is uh, unscrew this. Put the flashlight in there. This is the foregrip retaining plate. To remove the pistol grip. at the bottom. And the pistol grip slides out. Now this gun is the most uncomfortable to hold uh, because this pistol grip is just way too big. I have no idea why it is because inside is just full of air. And if um, the Polish soldiers have to use this with uh, mittens, he's not going to be able to hold this well. Okay, now the magazine latch. It's a screw. There's another screw inside. You have to unscrew that too. Magazine uh, catch screw, retaining screw. Then you push out the latch. And just before you pull it out, turn it. Uh, 
Let's uh, remove the wire stock. Press the button, lock button, pull it out, lock it in place. This is the angle stock. They also come in a straight stock that has three position. I find the angle stocks are better because you could use the iron sight. And I don't believe the straight stock, uh, you'll be comfortable using the iron sight. And um, if you use, um, it's also comfortable using a low micro uh, red dot. So yes, angle stock I would recommend. At the end of the wire stock, there are screws. Unscrew it like this. One on each side. And then these uh, stopping pins. I'll show you. I don't know if you can see it. They're just right, right here. Right there. This is a stopping pin, pin. Yes. Push them out. Here's a mallet. Make sure the uh, wire stock is all the way to the back and the pin should follow. There. This is the wire stock retaining pins. And that's your wire stock. And at the end, these screw holds these pin in position. Okay, finally on the outside, the barrel, very simple. There's a latch here, press it and turn. And the barrel slides out. Of course, if you have a non-restricted barrel, you can just simply just put it back, uh, replace it, no problem. Okay, the next thing, next thing is to uh, remove the lower. There's a, a cross pin. Push this uh, this inside out simply by. Let's pull this out. And now push that pin through. This logging pin goes inside. Pulls it in, and the lower pivots forward like this, like that, pivots, like that. That's your lower, this is your upper. Now uh, let's uh, reassemble uh, the whole uh, gun. The first thing I do is put this on the upper.
And now you tighten these screws at the end. Okay, finally went in. Seems to work. Safety on. There you have it. This is how you completely disassemble the BRS. And that concludes the part one of the BRS complete disassembly. Thank you for joining me and please subscribe.